The Holy Spirit is so controversial, so divisive in the church that he's become the elephant in the room that nobody really talks about. So many women don't know who the Holy Spirit is or what he can be in their lives or what relevance he can serve to the challenges they face. Because we don't talk about the Holy Spirit, it has cost us our power. Hi, I'm Linda Hunter Bjorkland and welcome to my home surrounded by the beautiful Colorado mountains. We live at the base of Pikes Peak, as a matter of fact, where I get to do all kinds of things like gardening and skiing and biking and hiking with my dog Murphy. These days, it's been pretty quiet around here. Our six children and four grandchildren live in faraway places. And my husband Dave says, empty nesting hurts really, really bad for about 20 minutes. Well, I'm excited to announce the newest release of my latest and most important book, My Heart, The Holy Spirit's Home. I experienced the miraculous work of the Holy Spirit when I was a child growing up in Ohio after my dying 18-year-old aunt was healed of a rheumatic heart and she lived to be a great-grandmother. I experienced and continued to see the supernatural, tangible expression of the Holy Spirit through those days. It became commonplace to me. Then in 1994, I came to Colorado Springs to go to work as a magazine editor for a major Christian organization. And it was at that time that I made the decision to sanitize my walk with the Lord, my experience with the Holy Spirit, so I would be more palatable to those who didn't have the same experience as I did. But I found that when I left that experience, when I relegated the Holy Spirit, I also lost the power and the intimacy and the, the communication that I had had with him before. And so I set out on a quest to get it all back. And in the process, I realized that there were other women in the same sort of situation with the same void in their lives. Women who wanted to find a relationship with the Holy Spirit but didn't know how to get there. Do you know that in Jesus' time on earth, he didn't even begin his ministry until the Holy Spirit lit on him when he was baptized by John in the Jordan River. That's when he began his real work. And do you know that before he went away, he said, I have to go away so that I can leave the Holy Spirit behind. So in essence, he came here and then he went away so that we could have the very thing that this book is about, the Holy Spirit. This book bridges the gap in the women's life, the religious part that says befriending the Holy Spirit could make you become fanatical, and that desperately hungry part that makes you want more from your walk of faith. This book also serves to help the woman learn who the Holy Spirit is, what He does, and how He can become real and relevant in the challenges that she faces. The subject is written to women, about women, and unique ways the Holy Spirit can minister for women. The book takes Bible stories plus real-life women's stories and mine and helps make them applicable to the reader's life and includes a study guide that helps them plug in the details. I wrote this book because I wanted women all over to know that the Holy Spirit can belong to them. The Holy Spirit can become real in their lives. The Holy Spirit can be approachable. The Holy Spirit can commune with them and help them make their decisions and, and comfort them when they hurt. That's why I wrote this book. The book is a perfect fit for large women's ministries, as well as small group gatherings for college age, singles, or seniors groups of women, wherever women are gathered together, interested in making the Holy Spirit at home in their hearts.